Hey guys, Brock Schultz here, picking back up where we left off with the Holy Bible, King James Version. The first book of the Kings, commonly called the third book of the Kings, chapter 7. But Solomon was building his own house 13 years, and when he finished all, all his house, he built also the house of the forest of Lebanon. The length thereof was 100 cubits, and the breadth thereof 50 cubits, and the height thereof 30 cubits, upon four rows of cedar pillar, with cedar beams upon the pillars. And it was covered with cedar upon the beams that lay forward 40 five pillars, fifteen in a row. And there were windows in three rows, and light was against light in three ranks, and the, all the doors and posts were square with the windows, and light was against light in three ranks. And he made a porch of pillars, the length thereof was fifty cubits, and the breadth thereof thirty cubits, and on the porch was before them, and the other pillars in the thick beam were before them. Then he made a porch for the throne where he might judge, even the porch of judgment, and it was covered with cedar from one side of the floor to the other. And his house where he dwelt and had another court within the porch, which of which was of the like work, Solomon made also uh, a house for Pharaoh's daughter, whom he had taken to wife, like unto this porch. All of these were costly stones, according to the measures of hewn stones, sawn with saws, within and without, even from the foundation to the coping. And so on the out outside toward the great court, the foundation was of costly stones, even great stones of ten cubits and stones of eight cubits. And above were costly stones, after the he measures of hewn stones and cedars. And the great court round about was three st rows of hewn stones, and a row of cedar beams, both for the inner court of the house of the Lord, and for the porch of the house. And King Solomon sent and fetched Hiram out of Tyre. He was a widow son of the tribe of Naphtali, and his father was a man of Tyre, a worker in brass. And he was filled with wisdom and understanding and cunning to work all works in brass. And he came to King Solomon, and wrought all of his work. For he cast two pillars of brass of eighteen cubits high apiece, and a line of twelve cubits did encompass either of them about. And he made two chapters of molten brass to set upon the tops of the pillars. The height of the one chapter was five cubits, and the height of the other chapter, chapter was five cubits. And nets of checker work and wreaths of chain work for the chapters which were upon the top of the pillars, seven for the one chapter and seven for the other chapter. And he made the pillars and two rows round about upon one, the one network to cover the chapters that were upon the top. With pomegranates, so did he for the other chapter. And the chapters that were upon the top of the pillars were of lily work and the porch four cubits. And the chapters upon the two pillars had pomegranates also above, over against the belly which was by the network. And the pomegranates were two hundred in rows about upon the other chapter. And he set up the pillars in the porch of the temple. And he set up the right pillar and called the name thereof Jachin, and he set up the left pillar, and he called the, sum, the name thereof Boaz. And upon the top of the pillars was lily work, so was the work of the pillars finished. And he made a molten sea, ten cubits from, from the one brim to the other. It was round all about, and his height was five cubits, and a line of thirty cubits did compass it round about. And under the brim of it round about there were knops and comp compassing it, Ten in a cubit compassing the sea round about, the knops were cast in two rows, and it was cast. It stood upon twelve oxen, there three looking toward the north, and three looking toward the west, and three looking toward the south, and three looking toward the east, and set and the sea was set above upon them, and all their hinder parts were inward, and it was an, an a hand breadth thick, and the brim thereof was wrought like the brim of a cup, with the flowers of lilies, it contained two thousand baths. And he made ten bases of brass. Four cubits was the length of one base, and four cubits the breadth thereof, and three cubits the height of it. And the work of the bases was on this manner. They had borders, and the borders were between the ledges. And on the borders that were between the ledges were lions, oxen, and cherubims. And upon the ledges there was a base above, and beneath the lions and oxen were a certain additions made of a thin work. And every base had four brazen wheels and plates of brass. And the four corners thereof had undersetters under the labor, were undersetters molten at the side of every addition. And the mouth of it within the chapter and above was a cubit, but the mouth thereof was round after the work of the base, a cubit and a half. And also upon the mouth of it were gravings with their borders, four square, not round. And under the borders were four wheels, and the axle trees of the wheels were joined to the base, and the height of a wheel was a cubit and half a cubit. And the work of the wheels was like the work of chariot wheel, their axle trees, and their knaves, and their fellows, and their spokes were all molten. And there were four undersetters to the four corners of one base, and the undersetters were of the very base itself. 
and in the very in the top of the base was there a round compass of half a cubit high, and on the top of the base the ledges thereof and the borders thereof were of the same. For on the plates of the ledges thereof and on the borders thereof he graved cherubims, lions, and palm trees, according to the proportion of every one, and additions round about. After this manner he made ten bases, all of them had one casting, one measure, and one size. Then made he ten labors of brass, one labor contained forty baths, and every labor was four cubits, and upon every one of them, every one of the ten bases, one layer. And he put five bases on the right side of the house, and put five on the left side of the house, and he set on the sea on the right side of the house, eastward over against the south. And Hiram made the layers and the shovels and the basins, so Hiram made an end of doing all the work that he made King Solomon for the house of the Lord. The two pillars and the two bowls of the chapters that were on the top of the two pillars and the two networks, to cover the two bowls of the chapters were upon the top of the pillars, and four hundred pomegranates were the two networks, even two rows of pomegranates were one network, to cover the two bowls of the chapters that were upon the pillars, and the ten bases and the ten layers on the bases and one sea, and twelve oxen under the sea, and the pots, and the shovels, and the basins, and all these vessels which Hiram made to King Solomon, for the house of the Lord were of bright brass. In the plain of Jordan did the king cast them in, in, in the clay ground between Succoth and Zartham. And Solomon left all the vessels unweighed, because they were exceeding many, neither was the weight of the brass found out. And Solomon made all the vessels that pertain unto the house of the Lord, the altar of gold, and the table of gold, whereupon the shewbread was. And the candlesticks of pure gold, five on the right side and five on the left, before the oracle, with the flowers and the lamps and the tongs of gold, and the bowls and the snuffers and the basins, basins and the spoons, and the censers of pure gold and the hinges of gold, both for the doors of the inner house, the most holy place, and for the doors of the house to wit of the temple. So was ended all the work that King Solomon made for the house of the Lord, and Solomon brought in the things which David had, his father had dedicated, even the silver and the gold and the vessels he did put among the treasures of the house of the Lord. Then Solomon assembled the elders of Israel, and all the heads of the tribes, the chief of the fathers of the children of Israel, unto King Solomon in Jerusalem, that they might bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the city of David, which is in Zion. And all the men of Israel assembled themselves unto King Solomon at the feast in the Mount Ethnaim, which is the seventh month. And all the elders of Israel came, and their priests took up the ark, and they brought up the ark of the Lord and the tabernacle of the congregation. And all the holy vessels were, that were in the tabernacle, 